I know a lot of you guys out there are waiting for Zhang Li to come out and arrive in Genshin Impact, but what sort of party are you going to be using him in? Let's talk about that from everything we know from the current data from the closed beta test on Zhang Li. What is it that you're using him with? So let's dive into it, guys, right now. Let's talk about all the different options you have access to. Number one, if you guys have seen anything about Zhang Li, you are knowing that he works extremely well with geotype characters, specifically geotype characters that have the geo structure. So let's talk about his use there. TLDR, if you don't know, he interacts with other geo character structures because he makes them resonate the geo structures from the other characters with his own geo structure, and they will do constant AoE damage when enemies are next to them. On top of that, he can also detonate other geo structures not only his own but also the other characters at the same time this was what makes him very strong when it comes to using him in a certain team composition but it does not end there so there are going to be only a couple other geo characters namely three that you can use him with now the first one is going to be noel noel will allow you to have a healer support type character with additional barriers and all of that good stuff there, a little bit of burst AoE damage, but Zhang Li is also pretty good at that. The thing that Noelle does not do with him though, is she does not provide a structure for you to detonate with him or provide a structure to resonate that extra geo damage for him. So if you do use her, then you're giving up that big fast that really kind of makes him sort of the next tier of the geo game changer sort of character. Because geo characters, they don't really before him have any sort of way to interact with each other. He gives everyone the first way for geo characters to uniquely interact with each other through that geo structure mechanic now the second character that you guys could have access to is the main character whether it's a male or female version they do the exact same thing however the thing that this character does very well with interacting with Zhang Li is the geo construct ability now we all know that we have the starfell sword throw the boulder down but how does this really interact and work well with Zhang Li here we also have wake of earth as well now the wake of earth is also a geo construct anything that's listed in the game as you can see here is a geo construct so this means that this is going to interact with Zhang Li's geo construct radiate damage is able to be detonated based on what we know from the closed beta test so this is also very prevalent information this character actually has multiple geo constructs for you to utilize there and on top of that you guys can be able to get access to the constellations for free out there so this is going to give you some cool stuff to do most notably you're going to get some bonus crit hit rate from the first constellation that's going to ease the gearing on your Zhang Li. right we talked about how strong critical hit rate and critical hit damage is in the past it's one of the best ways to increase damage for any damage dealer this is gonna give you that extra critical hit right there but on top of that we also have the rock core meltdown now this one i don't know 100 percent, and i don't want to mislead anyone here but this one already says that it's going to blow up and do its own damage whereas Zhang li's detonation of all geo construct does its own damage as well so possibly and i would say that probably when this blows up you're going to get the damage from the rock core meltdown based on the, the attack and, and crit hit chance and crit damage and geo damage of your main character. And it also might do damage on its own from Zhang Li detonated as well. This is double detonations. You guys can get multiple of these rocks down because the rock's going to be lasting longer when you get to the final constellation from just doing the main story quest. It's got an eight second cooldown and a lot of your stuff is going to be lasting longer. So keep that in mind as well as you are running through all of this stuff in your head. You'll be able to put multiple rocks down. You're going to have to wall up, get that extra crit hit rate. Zhang Li's going to be able to detonate all of them. It's going to come down to how well you are good at placing them in the enemies around them and then snapping them like thanos and blowing them all up with that extra current hit rate while you're standing in there so that's going to be something for you guys to think about there it is very powerful and it is very possible for you guys to use this in a good way so we have the two second cooldown there and then uh the final attack that doesn't really do anything for us there but if you have been leveling up your geo traveler and utilizing them in that way they are actually pretty powerful and that's going to be something that you guys can use there now the third geo partner and the best geo partner i believe by far for Zhang Ling is going to be Ning Guang. Now, Ning Guang does so many things that go one to one with how you want to be playing Zhang Ling with his skills and his elemental burst. She just pairs up too well with him. And uh, let's talk about that. So, she does have the ability to drop a Geo construct here at her Jade screen. As you can see and read, it counts as a Geo construct. So, this is going to be resonating damage 
while his geo construct is out there it also means that he can blow up the geo construct for bonus damage on top of that it also is a part of her wombo combo with star shatter where you drop the geo construct and then you hits her elemental burst star shatter and it makes the star shatter do even more damage because the star shatter will shatter the jade screen and make star jades out of it as part of the elemental burst there on top of that she also has a geo damage bonus for a character who walks through the screen so you drop the jade screen you can have jungling walk through it and give him the geo damage bonus you can also utilize this for herself but it goes even farther than that if you can get to constellation 2 here you're going to have the effect of shock effect and this is where it gets really crazy together because when the jade screen is shattered it's cooldown will reset this happens once every six seconds so the way Ling plays he wants console or he wants uh, the constructs on the ground she has a construct for him and he wants to blow up constructs and she has a constellation that resets that construct once every six seconds so what you can do here you drop her jade screen you drop his console his uh his geo construct there almost forgot the name of it for a minute they're burning they're doing damage you drop his elemental burst it hits the enemy does damage on its own and then it petrifies them and it makes them take 20 percent bonus physical as well as geo damage then what you do is you use his elemental skill hold blow everything up make them take damage jade screen resets you swap into ningguang you drop your own jade screen with ningguang you walk through it then you pop her elemental burst hit them all with that and you hit them with their charge attack on ningguang and it just works too well together you have the resets the resets another reset and if it's been six seconds since you've blown up that previously you'll get the jade screen to reset again off of her own elemental burst and then drop another jade screen and get ready to rinse and repeat you swap back into him you walk through her jade screen you drop his elemental skill everything starts resonating again you build up their elemental energy for their elemental bursts and you rinse and you repeat and you rinse and you repeat just with the two of them there that is a fantastic duo and it doesn't really get much better than that the other benefit of having multiple geo characters is you're going to get the enduring rock effect it increases your damage interruption resistance rates and then when you're protected by a shield you get 15 percent bonus attack damage now obviously geo does have its own downsides in the fact that it does not interact very favorably with a lot of the elemental shields out there from the different enemy types you're not breaking hydro shields and pyro shields and uh electro shields all that quickly with double geo but that is why you have four different characters that you can bring in your party you can make your double geo characters your base core party members and then supplement them with some other characters now what you can do if you're not facing any sort of elemental shield enemies you don't really care uh anything of that nature you're not fighting that kind of stuff then you can pair them with a double pyro team with the double geo team this way you get the 25 percent attack bonus for double pyro and then the 15 percent bonus damage when affected by a shield which you can do quite easily with a crystallized pyro plus fire attack to get that 15 percent damage bonus there as well then you throw in someone like Bennett who comes in you need some healing he's got your back you can get some healing from Bennett you can also get a lot of extra attack from Bennett's elemental skill and elemental burst fill up his elemental burst with his elemental skill drop the fire field lasts for 12 seconds has a 15 second cooldown get a bunch of healing from that up to 70 percent of your max HP and then once you hit that or if you have him at constellation one you're gaining 70 to 90 to almost 100 percent of bennett's base attack on top of the other buffs you're getting from the different elemental resonance bonuses this is going to be an insane one two three team members then you get another fire character you can have another support damage dealing character you have like someone like klee come in you have someone like a uh, shangling come in uh with her little little guoba bear or you can use the new character uh shinyan the new you know the, the new fire guitarist you could throw that in there as well but if you're worried about elemental shields then you can also swap in something else that will work really well with supplementing Zhongling's damage and this is the superconduct team because Zhongling he does not have any sort of geo imbues right now on his normal or his charge attack so he's always doing physical damage there so what you can do to supplement him if you want to make him the all-star of your show you want him out there bruising is you supplement him with a uh, electro character as well as a cryo character you get them to do the electro cryo elemental combination of superconduct and that's going to lower the enemy's physical resist by 50 percent and that's going to make him hit way harder than he was hitting before so you have uh, someone like Fischl or Diona more healing from Diona to get some actual healing going on in your party Ningguang for the 
crazy wombo combo double geo we talked about there fish is gonna be great she's supplying that electro component but on top of that Zhongling is a fast attacking character so oz is gonna be firing uh skills out willy-nilly and you'll be able to resonate geo damage explode your different geo constructs there for more crystallized effects there protecting you from not only that electro element but also from ascension 4 on Fischl, causing that lightning based elemental reaction and causing that ascension 4 talent on oz to make him do additional attacks there very 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 powerful team combination there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with this these are the two teams that i've thought about using the most and also it's the two teams that i use right now without jungling in them and it works phenomenally well and he's going to be using the same sort of circumstances that we've been doing right now on genshin impact you guys have been able to see it unfold live on twitch.tv come and hang out with us or sometimes when we stream on youtube there so if you guys want to see more stuff genshin impact related content all this cool stuff there's a lot of cool ways to use and abuse different characters and different team compositions out there in the game let me know how you plan on using them down below thumbs up if you like the video helps out a ton and i'll see you guys in the next one take care guys